Hello my beauties and welcome back to another plan with me video. I feel like it's been such a long time that I've done a plan with me video with you guys, right? I think the last time we did a video together was what Mother's Day and that was like almost a month ago. Yikes! But it doesn't matter, so here we are. Before I start this video, I just want to remind you guys that today, June 1st, is the first day that I'm going to release my July mystery kit. So those of you who missed out last month and want to try it out, it starts today. So just head on over to my Etsy shop and look for July mystery kits. As always, all mystery kits are free shipping worldwide. Now if you do decide to place additional order, like other items that you want to get from my shop, I strongly, strongly suggest that you place two separate orders. One order for the July mystery kit and a separate order for your other kits. However, if you do place an order with your July mystery kit, both items will not be shipped out until June 13th. That's when I'll be shipping out the July mystery kits. Okay, let's get back to our plan with me. So this week I'll be using my Brave and Free kit for this week's spread. I am so in love with anything florals. I just love florals as you can see. And watercolor, like those are my ultimate favorite themes that I like to work with. This week's spread is going to be a no white space. However, I did not print off any ombre heart check boxes for this. I'm just going to reuse my other ones that I used for my other kids because the colors are a bit similar so might as well reuse them all. Okay, so this week we're going to plan from May 30th to June 5th. Let's get started. Okay, so I usually start with the bottom washi. However, my bottom washi is actually not cut in a straight line. It's designed in a way that you overlap or layer on top of the stickers. And because I use my bottom section as a checkbox or to-do list, I'm going to put that down first and then I'm going to layer my bottom washi on top of it. Because I didn't print or cut an ombre heart checklist for this kit, I am pulling out colors from my other kit and I just want to make sure right now that the colors do match the kit that I am using right now. Mostly it's a lot of golden greens which is good and some pinks so as you can see here I have placed everything on the bottom it's going to be a super busy week for me so on the weekends I do have stuff to do so as you can see here I am trying to show you guys how I usually do this all in bulk I just peel off my stickers put it on the back of my hand and just start putting it down onto my planner as always all my to-do headers are decorated with corresponding clip arts and they are super cute when you put them all in a row because at the end it kind of looks like a washi tape and I think that's super adorable. Okay once my to-do section is done I'm going to work on the sidebar section now. I'm just going to place on my sidebar there and start building my sidebar to place a check box there for my reminders that week and build on top a daily habit tracker for my medication and my scallop check boxes for important things. And lastly, another daily tracker for my running because it's such a beautiful week this week. I'm gonna track how many times I'm gonna run. And on to my full boxes. And now it's time to pick out and eliminate washies. I find with lighter washi, it's easier for me to just unroll it and look at it like that way and see which one works best for my spread. So I picked these three and also, of course, my bottom washi. So I'm pretty bad at peeling stickers because this is pretty delicate and I, as you can see, kind of ripped one of the bulbs off but it's all right I just put it back on and you don't see it even if I didn't say anything I don't think you guys would even know about it right and on to my second side what I love best about my sticker is that there's that blackout 
backing on my sticker so you don't have to white out any dark ink or anything. All you do is just put down the sticker. Especially for those who ordered the new Erin Condren Life Planners, the neutral colors, they're all dark headers. So even if you use my sticker on top of it, it will not affect the colors of the kit because of the block out layering on my stickers. Once the bottom washi is done, I'm going to work on the top header washi. And of course, if you know me, I can't just use one washi. I have to layer my washies. So I don't know if you guys saw in the fast forward, but I wasn't happy with the washi selection I chose from before. So here I am just testing two other washi to see which one fits better. I decided to go with the gold arrow because it is a boho chic theme and I think that matches well with the theme. And now on to my meal plan, same thing. I just Peel it all off like that and just put it on the back of my hand and just start putting it onto my planner in a row. I just love florals and watercolor. They work so well together. Honestly, at the beginning, I wasn't really that confident about this plan with me because number one, I don't have any washi to match this. And number two, I didn't print any corresponding ombre heart check boxes even though it does come with the kits but I decided that I didn't want to print any because it would take me a while so might as well just pull other colors from other kits and I am so happy that it worked out okay and on to my today so Monday my little one has school slash daycare because it's a no white space spread I'm gonna fill it in with my washi tape before I put down my payday sticker and a grocery sticker because Monday it's my grocery days and hopefully I have time so I could fill my new releases this week is my recycling and organics week so I'm just going to indicate that with a recycling bin and also it's a nice day so I am going to run on that day so Tuesday is going to be my creative day I'm going to indicate that with my design sticker and if I'm feeling adventurous maybe it's gardening too because I have to work on my garden I say adventurous because I do not have a green thumb at all. <laughs> like, you think it's easy, but to me, I, I don't know, it just it just doesn't make sense. You, I don't know, gardening and me do not make sense, but I'll try, I'll try my best. And Wednesday, my little one has daycare, and it's also bill due because it's the first of the month. And not to mention, my July mystery kit is live that day, which is today. I placed another YouTube film just in case I didn't have time to film on the Monday. Also, my husband has hockey that day too. And Friday, my little one has school slash daycare. Also, this Friday is my new release. So a video will be up this Friday of my new kit. And oh my gosh, I am so excited about this new release because I am so in love with my kit. Like, I don't know. it's. A, because it's summer and the bright colors but I am so in love with it and I can't wait to show you guys if you guys do follow me on Instagram I have been dropping out clues on one of the kits and I just can't show you the entire kit like oh my goodness so you guys if you have not subscribed subscribe now because YouTube will indicate indicate YouTube will notify you when I'll have that video up and you guys could check it out Okay, so once my today section is done, I do go through the whole week again just to make sure I didn't miss out anything. And for me to do that, I go through my functional icon sheet sticker, just literally go one by one. It's like, do I need this sticker? Do I need that sticker? Oh yeah, I do. Yes, yes, yes. So that is my backup checklist, I guess you could say. So here I am. I'm just filling it in with some of my functional icon stickers and my Etsy stickers. And now for the last part, we decorate. Okay, 
Okay, I think I'm pretty happy about all the decorations. So next I am going to start writing into my weekly spread, filling it in. I've decided to use black ink because florals do tend to get a bit busy and black ink is just really simple and it will stand out a bit more in the spread itself. Before I put it in, I have to re-punch the holes because of my sticker. Do block them. So here I am just re-punching it and putting some slits in and here we are. <gasps> I love flowers. I don't know how many times I have said this in the video, but I really do. And watercolor, like oh my gosh. So here I am thinking that I am done, but oh my gosh, I forgot the most important thing of that week. And I know my niece watches my videos, so I am so sorry, Victoria. I just, lots of stuff is going on this week. <laughs> and I thought, I know, I know, I shouldn't, I'm so bad. I'm such a bad aunt, but yes. Oh, I'm so sorry. Can you forgive me? <laughs> I'll be seeing you this Sunday, so hopefully you forgive me by then. But anyways, this Sunday is her second son first birthday, right? Like, how could I forget that? How, how could I? It's so important. I'm just so sorry. As you can see, the sticker came off pretty easily because it was literally a split second that I remember that it was Eli's first birthday. So no harm done, right, Victoria? And also that's the reason why I picked, picked, picked a blank full box to put into that area so I could put Eli's birthday but I just don't know why I did not remember it when I start decorating okay I'm gonna start decorating this box with one of my banner tassel and indicate it with a bow flag box and also a birthday cake this birthday cake actually came with the June mystery kit so I do have an extra one to use for Eli's birthday and I'm just gonna fill it in so that I could remember for sure, right? Like all these exclamation mark. Okay, this time I am for sure definitely done. So thank you guys for watching another Plan With Me video. I had so much fun doing this week's spread and also editing too. If you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you just joined us right now in this video, please subscribe. I will greatly appreciate that if you do. Also, a little reminder that my July mystery kit is on sale in my Etsy shop as of now. And they are made for the Happy Planner and the Erin Condren Vertical Life Planner. Once again, thank you, thank you, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Happy planning, bye!